change coach, change pods, and give myself a new challenge. What is going on? Welcome back. I am in the kitchen making breakfast this morning. I've had a great week of training so far. All right, lunch is started. I've got loads of nuts. Oh, hello. Welcome back. Well, don't worry, I'm very much aware that I have my feet on the coffee table. Yeah, just, just allow me for a minute. I've got Funky Fresh Clean Socks on from my protein. Funny as you say that, just for you, I have a code. Lauren Williams, no, Lauren TKD, and it gets up to 47% off the entire website. So whether you want peanuts for breakfast or you want a skipping rope for your sessions, like they literally have everything. Right, waffle aside, I'm having an espresso and I'm editing some kicking videos to post to my Instagram. I have just realised that I did an entire clip in the gym. You're gonna have to, you're just gonna have to get used to my foot being there, I'm not gonna lie, right? I'm not sorry. A lot of people pay a lot of money for this, so just be grateful that I've given you this content for free. Right, I realised shortly after filming in the gym, the Taekwondo gym, that my microphone wasn't on and I have a tendency of doing this so I filmed a whole lot saying about how I've changed, I've changed coach, I've changed pods, I no longer train with Jane and Bianca and the girls pod, I train with the boys so I'm literally getting mashed up every day by the lads and I love it, I'm here for it. I've changed coach back to my old coach Steve Jennings which is exciting. Essentially I'm going to explain what's happened. I came back from Belgium and I thought I needed a little bit of a shake up. Um, I spoke to my boss and we decided to change things up. Come on, <laughs> I'm not with my coach that I had at the games, for those of you who recognise him. We're in a very good place to be fair. He's still very supportive of me, he speaks to my coach and keeps that communication going. Things are ever changing in this place. I do need new challenges and, I don't know, just a little bit of a, a change to see if it can be the difference in, you know, push me that little bit further. I have transitioned to the lads group, so I'm with the boys getting kicked around by the 58s, 68s. Uh, Farzad the 80, so it's good. I really enjoyed it. There's like a constant challenge now, so I'm getting pushed to crazy levels every day. Um, the training's different, the perspectives are different, so yeah, I'm really excited. I'm in a good place to be fair. I'm excited to see where this chapter of my journey takes me. We have the worlds in six or seven weeks. I'm kind of a bit lucky that I, I've changed to a coach that I'm familiar with and I'm used to, so this six week period and the transition period has been relatively easy. I hope you enjoyed that little waffle. I speak way too much when I have these little rounds. I will catch you in a bit. Don't forget if you want any of the my protein stuff, here's the code Lauren TKD. Use it at checkout. There's a link in the description below or if you follow me on social media, there's like links in my bios that'll take you to the website. Check out the description below. All the details are there, relatively easy. But with that being said, let's get started.
Everyone knows this is the heaviest weight in the gym. Like, don't don't even challenge me. This is the heaviest weight. Hello, what's going on? I've come to work. I am working a Japanese class. I've had such a heavy week, but it's been really good and productive, so I'm happy. I've just come in and I've set everything up ready for the class already. I don't look like I'm ready, but just need to get a change and then I pretty much am. I'm making gozas, sushi, and I can't remember what else, but it's gonna be fun, exciting. It's only a small class, six people. I'm gonna have. I don't know if to have normal milk or not, we might be out of milk, but I need to perfect my barista skills. If we haven't got normal milk, I'm not doing it because oat milk is trad. Oh my god, we've only got oat milk. Right, okay, I'm going to try it with oat milk, see if it works. Today we're going to have to go and get milk because customers are going to want coffee. Right, let's do all this fancy stuff and see if it works. Right, I'm actually just nail bar. Oh my god, this might be the first time I've actually done this. A little bit of pressure and I'm thriving. Right, oat milk is notorious for bubbling and not being the right texture, so I'm kind of, I'm over that. We're not striving for perfection here, guys. We're striving for progress, not perfection. Also, I accidentally ordered five kilos of oats from my protein. I made my own oat milk last night. It wasn't barista a bowl because it kind of just, when I put it under the steam wand, it kind of just cooked the oats. So I had just very thick milk. I think I'm just gonna add some water, add a bit more vanilla and it should be fine. Yeah, I need to get through five kilos of oats. I need to practice because customers are gonna be paying for these skills. Right. Nope, tragic. I mean, we're getting better. I'm gonna go and set up for the rest of the class, get changed, make myself look a bit more presentable, and help the chef set up the rest of the food prep. Yeah, let's go get started. See you tomorrow. Oh. Now I'm on my way to Tesco. Change plan. I need to go and get some milk because we've got no milk there. Um, yeah, so now I'm on my way to Tesco. <laughs> I get the card. Going on. What is it? Uh, Charlotte and Sesame. Charlotte and Sesame. Yeah, sure. One oh, really hairy. Oh my god, I'm a haircut. Holding this bit. No both of them. It's practice for me, isn't it? Yeah. So, after I was going to say, ah. when you understand how to fold it, it takes some practice, you know, so you sort of. Uh, <laughs> oh no. This pan's burning. Oh no, this one was another oh, one as well. It's that one? What? That's not mine. Sorry. That's not mine. Oh, it was mine. Judge me on that. It was mine. I'll, I'll take the blame. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so spicy. That is actually good. Yeah? Isn't this one better? 
Yes, much better. Yes, Jeff? What's that shit one? <laughs> no, listen, you've done it like a million times. I haven't. Do me a favor. I pour a little bit of cold water in the soy dipping sauce. For everyone. Everyone, it's salty as hell. Uh, <laughs> it's because you use the dark, dark one. I don't know that it's, it's supposed to be dark. It's recipe. Okay. Fighting, oh my gosh, Lion. Obviously, it's gonna be worth it. Good cover. That's the morning's class done, now I'm just set it up for the evening class, literally deja vu, do it all again. Um, so we cleaned up after that one, now set it all up again for Mexican, that was Japanese, next is Mexican. Isn't it? And of course the best thing, eating the leftovers. I can't wait. There's lots of food to take home. I'm going to finish up here, um, make sure I leave the place in a decent enough condition for the next class, and then head home, rest, get ready for house phones tomorrow. I'm excited. See you in a bit. <laughs>